In this video, we are going to have a short introduction to the widgets palette and widget libraries. Once we have a page open, we can drag widgets onto it. It's as easy as dragging and dropping widgets from the widget palette. As we drag widgets out, they are placed on top or in front of previous widgets. Uh, the concept of layers or Z-index if you're from an HTML CSS background and moving objects back and front is important to grasp. We'll go into more detail later. When you select a widget, a whole host of previously greyed out options open up for us in the toolbar and in the palettes down the right hand side, which are the widget specific options. Note that these options will differ depending on the widget currently selected. What is also relevant to know about this palette is that widgets come in libraries and Axure ships with two default widget libraries which correlate to the different diagram types, page and flow. You can easily switch between libraries with the select library dropdown. Widget libraries are actually another Axure file type with a .rplib extension as opposed to the project file which is .rp. We can download .rplib files from the web with a number available for free. Find them by selecting download libraries from the widgets menu. We can also create our own, which is a powerful way of managing design assets within an organization because you can reuse and share design as a team, saving time and money. More on that later. 